I'm saying, baby, please have mercy on me. Take it easy on my heart. Sean Mendez, please have mercy on our souls. He swept our hearts away on Vine and has since become a worldwide phenomenon slash serious dreamboat. That's weird for me to say, but it's true. But believe it or not, there is still a whole lot more to Sean than meets the eye. So right now we're bringing you nine things that you may not have known about Sean right here on Listed. It's no mystery that Sean Mendez was a literal overnight success story, getting his start on the no longer video app Vine. But his covers went so viral that in February of last year, his talents earned him 1 billion streams worldwide, making him the youngest artist to accomplish such a huge milestone. More gigs than I've done in my life. We're talking yeah. 44. Sean also quickly followed in the footsteps of fellow Canadian Justin Bieber and has since been the youngest artist since JB to have a number one album. Which just leaves us with one question of our own. What on earth were we doing with our lives at 17? Honestly. Sean has stated over the years that one of his biggest musical influences is Ed Sheeran. But did you know they actually recorded an unreleased song together? Sean revealed that he, Ed, and rapper Hoodie were hanging out one night and began singing about pizza while they waited for their delivery. He went into more detail saying, quote, We were just chilling in a room playing some chords. Hoodie started rapping. We were waiting for a pizza, which never came. We were really hungry and just talking about all the good things about pizza. Maybe I should record it. I'm sensing a number one hit in the works. I'd buy a song about pizza. Bringing out a flirtier side of Sean is the fact that if he had to choose a celebrity to participate in Seven Minutes of Heaven with, he would pick Scarlett Johansson. Who wouldn't? In the past, Sean's celebrity crushes included Rachel McAdams, Sophia Bush, and Emma Watson, but in a more recent interview, Sean seems to have yet another opinion, even blushing while sending his greeting to Scarlett during the interview. Um, Seven Minutes in Heaven. Maybe like Scarlett Johansson or something? Yes. Yeah. Good morning, Scarlett, by the way. Um, Sean's had the privilege of befriending many other familiar faces, including Island Records label partner Nick Jonas. In fact, the two became so close that Sean once helped Nick pick out his debut solo album cover back in August of 2014, because that's what famous friends are for. Next up, as a die-hard Sean fan, you probably know that Sean loves Harry Potter. Sean is also a self-sorted Gryffindor. Sean loves Harry Potter so much that he admitted when he was little, he used to make his own magic wands. See here. I was a really weird kid. Like, I was completely obsessed with Harry Potter. Like, not only Harry Potter, just wizardry and magic. I used to, like, pick, like, branches off trees and like sharpen them and like paint them to make like wands and stuff. Although wizardry and witchcraft may freak out many, the only thing Sean is deeply terrified of is the open dark ocean. Sean has stated before that he hates the idea of being stranded in the middle of the ocean by himself. Rightfully so. I'm terrified of deep water. Uh, there's nothing that scares me more than being like in the middle of the ocean by myself. Before even thinking about singing, Sean's biggest aspiration was to become an actor. That dream, as opposed to his singing career, took quite a bit of time, but he eventually made his acting debut last year on the CW's The 100. Really though, is there anything he can't do? Day. Okay, so he mostly sang during his time on camera, but one way Sean revealed he does kind of have to play an alter ego on a consistent basis is during his photo shoots. He's admitted that his photo shoot alter ego even has a name, Benito. He opened up about becoming Benito, saying, quote, he's like a Spanish model who always has his hair slicked back and is always doing smoky eyes and is like the best model in the land. I'm really so awkward and I really feel weird in front of cameras. I'm like, okay, you know what, Sean? Right now, you're not Sean, you are Benito. Let's, let's get into it. I put my second face on and I have to pretend that I'm a model and that I have been doing this or I won't be able to get through it. Hey, whatever gets the job done because those pictures are amazing. But we've now come to the final item on our list, and I should note that this is not to throw intentional shade, but Sean's record sales have been so high that it was reported that his Sean Mendez EP managed to sell more and chart higher in the US and Canada than Justin Bieber's Journals album. And Sean's first album, Handwritten, sold more copies than Austin Mahone's entire discography combined. Again, no shade, but also mad respect to a true talent. 
And now that we've concluded our list of things you may not have known about Sean Mendez, I'm curious to know which facts found the most surprising to you. And if you have another fun fact to add to the list, hit us up in the comments section down below. And after that, click right over here to see seven things you didn't know about Halsey. Thanks for watching Clever News. I'm your host, Tom Plumley, and I'll see you later.